planes, trains, and automobiles wasn't even possible in 1889, but that didn't stop 25-year-old investigative reporter Nellie Bly. At a time when women were still fighting for the right to vote, Bly set off on her journey around the world in November of 1889. Bly, who was born Elizabeth Jane Cochran, had already made a name for herself at the New York World newspaper when she went undercover at an insane asylum posing as a mental patient to expose the deplorable conditions. Her expose would help bring about reforms and be turned into a book called 10 Days in a Madhouse. Not long after, on just one and a half days notice, this brave and determined young woman took on an even bigger challenge. Her idea? To travel around the world solo in less time than Phileas T. Fogg, Jules Verne's fictional character did in his book, Around the World in 80 Days. With the blessing of her editors, Bly left Hoboken, New Jersey on November 14, 1889 and set sail for everywhere, covering Europe, Egypt, modern-day Sri Lanka, Hong Kong, and San Francisco, traveling by ship, carriage, rickshaw, horse, sampan, donkey, and train, arriving back in New York 72 days, 6 hours, 11 minutes, and 14 seconds later. Upon her return, Nellie Bly was celebrated, becoming the most famous woman in and to travel the world.